Open wide for me. Very good. Trapped in the dentist chair, Harris Casper uses one of the world's oldest techniques to stay calm. He's listening to music. Uh, I think it just uh, gives me something else to put my mind on, aside from having people like, you know, screw around in my mouth. You're all done. Have a rinse. Increasingly, scientists are learning why music makes us feel better. In a new paper, McGill University scientists reviewed hundreds of studies on the health effects of music, and they report that although scientific inquiry into the neurochemical effects of music is still in its infancy, the evidence for the beneficial effects of music is mounting. After listening to relaxing music, people's cortisol levels dropped, meaning that they it's an indication that they were less stressed. So what's happening? It seems the sound of music is causing a physical response in the body. New brain imaging techniques have revealed that music triggers a cascade of chemical reactions deep in a primitive part of the brain, sparking neural impulses that lower stress hormones, reduce heart rate, and even boost the immune system, suggesting music could work like a drug. We've been using music for years to calm people down. It actually calms people better than a sedative. It distracts them from what we're doing, and it relaxes them and drowns out the noise of the drill. In one study, scientists compared a sedation drug to music before surgery and found baseline anxiety was reduced significantly more by the music than by the drug. Heart rate also decreased more in the music group. In this actual hospital setting, the people who received the music had lower anxiety levels than the people who had the drugs and without side effects. I've been listening to music forever and I know that I'll listen to like certain types of music at certain times. Research is showing that various kinds of music can have different effects on the body. Slower music tends to be calming because the brain impulses match the music tempo. And faster music is stimulating, which is why this orthopedic surgeon turns on his stereo during surgery. But research also suggests that it works best if people can choose their own music. So rather than the doctor saying, oh, you've got depression, take two Joni Mitchells and call me in the morning, I think what we need to have is a recognition that people need to have that, that control over what they're listening to. This brings up mine to somewhere else. So I get to be outside of the subway, outside of the crowd. So those ever-present earbuds could be a sign of someone self-soothing rather than simply tuning out. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.